well the first drive we we came away we came away with no points and we had three balls that were dropped and uh, you know that hurt us a little bit going into the second drive you know we thought we could do whatever we wanted to but um, they brought pressure after pressure blitz after blitz they were in my face all night the second half you know the line did a great job by um, protecting you a lot better and and just how they've done all season they've done a great job and um, once we found out what they were doing, you know, it was downhill from there. We had it. You know, in the first half, we, uh, especially the first series, we had three opportunities to score and just, just didn't make the plays, you know. And in this stage of the playoffs and, and you know, as we advance, you've got to make those plays when they're given to you. We just got the kids in at halftime. We, we knew that we could be successful if we would just stay focused and continue to, to execute, you know, when it was given to us. And, the uh, kickoff return right there at the beginning of the second half, you know, those kids did an outstanding job setting it up for us. Kareem did a great job of breaking it when, when he saw the seam and broke, broke a couple tackles on his own. But, you know, that's what we needed, just something to get us going. You know, when you go on the road, it's very, very difficult to, uh, to get going sometimes. But we, uh, we made the plays when we needed to tonight and just uh, so proud of our young men. Oh, well, he just said one player's got to make a big play, you know. Um, if we didn't win, our season's over. You know that's all you can pretty much say. A person had to, uh, a person had to make that play, and that was Kareem Brown. He did a great job returning the kick, opening play for the second half, and uh, you know he he's 110 percent every play, and you can't ask for um, any more out of him. They, uh, you know, we've challenged them all year to bring the wood, and we needed it brought tonight more than ever before. And you know, Kosciuszko is a, such a well-coached football team. They they run that offense perfection. Our kids did a great job tonight. Our defensive coaches did a great job all week of getting our guys in position where they needed to be. We preached to them all week about wrapping up when they got to the football. And, you know, I saw them playing with some intensity tonight. Reggie Webb came up with a big hit. Zach Han came up with a big hit. And just uh, they set the tone tonight. They gave us the uh, momentum when we needed it. They came up with a big stand right there before the half. And just an outstanding effort by our defensive coaching staff and our defensive unit. I don't know. That's what you've been dreaming for, you know, since you're a little kid. Third round of playoffs, closer to North Half, closer to state championship, and with, it, and with, it is with Lafette. I mean, they went to state last year. They returned everybody pretty much on their team. You know, we're they're ranked number one in the state in 4A. We're ranked number two in the state in 4A. You couldn't ask for anything else. You know, it's what we've, uh, it's what we've dreamed about all year. You know, they're number one. We're number two. It's been that way most of the season. Uh, you know, all you want is a chance, and we've got the chance next Friday night at Kitchens Field. And, you know, we want to encourage as many of our fans to come out as possible, be as loud as possible. And, you know, our kids are going to lay it all on the line. It's going to be two, uh, two good teams going at it for 48 minutes, and we want their best shot, and hopefully we'll give them our best shot. And, you know, at the end of the night, the best team's going to come out on top.